Hi, this is Carolina. This time we decided to take part in the organized by Good Life Organization three day trip to Mexico City. Our trip started with a long ride with the bus from Monterrey to Mexico City. It took around 10 hours. We had a kind of packed schedule and huge traffic in the city wasn't helping us. During the first day we were able to have a boat ride in the Hochimilco and after we joined the wrestling show. It was the most interesting part of the first day. I felt diverse emotion from this event. In the beginning it looked strange and not understandable to me, but during the show I started to notice fun aspects and cheer for particular participants. It was an interesting experience exploring Mexican culture. The next day started we were walk around the city. We were able to see the historical center, ruins of pyramids and main buildings in the city. That day we with a friend woke up early because it's the best way to enjoy walking in one of the busiest cities in the world. We were able to see lazy morning city and only locals preparing breakfast were on the street. After joining again our group, we went to see Chapultepec Castle. The castle is the place in the same name park or more commonly called in the Bosque de Chapultepec. The presented park is one of the largest city parks in the Western Hemisphere. From the castle hills open the best 360 degrees panorama. The 18th century castle is the only royal palace in the North America. It was built as a summer house for a higher colonial administrator. Chapultepec Castle, known for its impressive garden, served as the home of the Mexican president until the 30 years of the 20th century. Now it's open as a museum and everyone who wants to touch royal atmosphere can visit the palace, have a walk in the royal garden and look for a hidden secret in the several rooms. After an impressive tour around royal life, we decided to see more Mexican culture by visiting Coyacan Market. Probably one of the most iconic markets of the Mexico City. It's like a window for a daily life for local citizens. There you can find the best local food, spices and textile items. The final visit point for the second trip day was Monumento a la Revolución, landmark dedicated to revolution heroes placed in the Plaza de la República. 
Building the structures in modern art style are a part of the complex made up of the monument itself, a plaza, and the Museum of the Revolution. Monumento a la Revolución does not provide historical pictures, documents, or archaeological findings. Monument construction consists of not ending tunnels with the stairs and ways finally taking you up the construction where you can see the city panorama. Day 3, the last day of the trip, started at Teotihuacan Pyramid. The place named Teotihuacan, translated as the place where the gods were created, is an ASEAN city more known as a complex of pyramids, plazas and templates. The main building of Teotihuacan is connected by the Avenue of the Dead. The city contains several large important structures such as the Pyramid of the Moon, the Pyramid of the Sun, the Citadel and the Temple. The last stop we made on the way back to Monterey was the city of Querétaro. It's a cute and cozy city known for its well-preserved Spanish colonial architecture. Our main reason was to make a stop in the city because of the Los Arcos Querétaro. It is an 18th century aqueduct with a beautiful story behind it. The 74 pink stone arches were the most important construction of the 18th century solving city of Santiago de Querétaro's problem with water. They can say it's Marcus, the person who sponsored the aqueduct, operated as a proof of love for a nun named Sister Marcela. On this cute note I want to say goodbye and I will see you soon in the new memories video.